Mark, welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. You all recognize that. That's above the uh, sink, um, the Jensen stereo, and underneath here is what we're going to deal with. Do a little bit of maintenance today. That is the what they call the charging center, and these two USB ports they don't work anymore. This guy works. You see, when I plug in a cigarette lighter adapter, see the light that comes on. So I know that the fuse back there on the um, converter is working just fine, but there's something wrong with this circuitry of this charger. So today we're going to go ahead and take this off, take the outside cover off, take that off. We're going to find out what's going on in there and what I can do about repairing it. I thought you might want to see. I've uh, heard that um, there's many people out there where that thing stops working, so maybe we'll do an upgrade today too. Anyway. Um, I'm going to get at that right now. First thing you need to do is grab real hard right here and pull down maybe and the outside cover just comes off. You can see the, uh, um, I'm going to turn some lights on in here. Maybe that will help. How about that? Yeah, that does help a little bit. So you can see the cover. That's what's called the charging center cover a little clip here and here and here and here that fit up into that so now it looks like I've got two screws to take out that one and that one and put four and they put two in that's fine There's not much weight here so let's take those screws out you'll need a, uh, a little common see if we can focus on that little square bit on a screwdriver but I'm gonna take those out we'll get right back to it so yowza, that is a square bit up there in those screws, but it's a dinky dinky tiny one. This is the size you need. Um, I was lucky to even have this guy. Really, really dinky guys. But it fits, so I'm going to go ahead and take okay, it off. Once you take those screws off, you can pull this down and you can see the wiring that's going on there. Um, they're just typical clips. This will be negative on the white wire. That'll be positive on the blue wire. Um, you can see they've got those taps. I don't like those things. Um, the wire the wire will come in here, drop down here, come up, drop down here, come up. They're just using the taps to tap in multiple multiple devices into the same circuit. So they're not great. So it may be it may be that uh, um, this charger circuit is okay, but the supply leading it is not. So here's my meter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and measure. Uh, between here and here and see if I have 12 volts on it because the problem may be in these connectors rather than in this device So let's go ahead and measure that So there we are measuring across the two leads and we can see on my meter That's 13.62 volts. So what that means is That all that wiring is good. Everything's cool. We've got voltage to it, but no voltage out of it So this little device is bad if you look on the back, there's a bolt here that we can take off. So I'm going to pull these two clips off, screw that bolt out, and take this unit out. Um, we'll probably be able to replace it online. So we'll get at it. Here we are again. I've got that USB charger out. Um, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, it has a little nut. Chase this down. A little nut that goes on the back see the threads on there 
So this is bad. I'm going to go ahead and get online, see if I can't source it out. There's some numbers on the back. If I can replace it, I'll do so. If not, I'll just get a uh, built-in USB adapter. I, um, I'll measure the diameter of this. And if I find something that will directly replace it, I'll give you a link. But I wanted to show you up here in the wiring. Remember how we talked about how they use those little um, connectors. See, so they got wire coming in and going out, and they've just tapped into it. That's what these little blue um, adapters are. They're just they're they're called wire taps, and I don't really like them much. But you work with what you got. So here's one for the, the white side, which is the uh, ground wire, and there's the blue side on the other side. It's built exactly the same way. Um, so just make sure that those don't short together, um, and let's. Uh, See what I can do about sourcing something for that. Okay, so here we are back inside. This is the USB adapter that's failed. Um, there are some markings back here, but I couldn't track them down to anything. So we're just going to pull out the micrometer and figure out what size this is so we can buy something that's similar. So it is inch and an eighth in diameter and inch and a half in depth. So there we go. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Online I found this. It's a quick charge 3.0 dual USB socket. It's waterproof 12 24 volt USB um, with QC 3.0 dual charger socket. The nice thing here is see that right there? It's got a little touch switch on it so that I can turn this off when it's not in use. The problem with the old one is it would always be draw. Even though you didn't have any phone or anything plugged in here, it would still be drawing current. With that little switch right there, when I turn this off, this will no longer be a parasitic draw. will help in the situation where you're boondocking and this guy's not going to continue to draw your batteries down. But it's uh, online for 10 bucks, uh, free shipping at Prime. Excellent. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish up this video, but I'm going to put it in the exact same place. I've checked the dimensions. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description. The dimensions are exactly as what we need. It's an exact replacement size for size. So all I'll do is screw this into the, the box you saw me take it out of, connect the two connectors on the back and screw the whole box up. And that'll be it. So anyway, glad you enjoyed this video. And again, I'll put this link to this device. Um, in the video. Thanks again.